Hello everyone, welcome to King of Life broadcast. I'm Sam, your host for today's topic. And today we are going to introduce the third-party company and that covers with our QNET NAS, which is the Panasonic from Japan. And uh, basically everyone, when we talk about Panasonic, we will mostly think about like battery or like CD player or something. But seldom of you will think about that Panasonic can also provide us some enterprise level product, which is the main topic today. It's called the Blue Glacier. That is uh, archiving storage, which can provide by the like a Blu-ray disc. So uh, let's take a look at what is what it is. And today we have our PNCF and our FAE Joe. Um, CF will introduce uh, what the Blu-ray, uh, sorry, the Blue Glacier is, and how can it cooperate with the QNET NAS. And Joe will basically do the demonstration for you, like how you can access to the application and what are the processes that you can activate all the functions. So let's get into the slide first. We can check on the title, Hearing Archive Storage Solution Explained. So basically, I think the Blue Glacier is a solution that, uh, that uh, a combination with QNAP NAS and the freeze rate from Panasonic. So the agenda today, the first, first thing is we will let you know what is Blue Glacier, and then we will tell you the product configuration then we'll do the live demo for you. And then we will introduce our uh, sales manager in Taiwan, Big Tsai. He will be on the live show and tell you about the, like the future, uh, like the plan of the Panasonic product and what are the future of the product they will have. So uh, Steve, please tell us about what is the Blue Glass here. Yeah, thank you, Sam. Uh, thanks for the introduction. So um, the first question is, what is Blue Glacier? Uh, QNAP and Panasonic working together to uh, jointly develop this tiering archive storage. It integrates QNAP Enterprise NAS and uh, Panasonic Freeze Ray Optical Disk Library and special build software applications and also the management utilities. We can say Blue Glacier is a uh, one-stop solution with the best in class enterprise NAS user interface, which uh, eliminates your data storage obstacles. It's a sustainable storage. The optical discs mm -hmm. maintain your critical and valuable data for more than a hundred years. Also, it is a native uh, right once medium and it needs the three to one data protection rule by nature. So I think Blue Glacier is the core across your data lifecycle management and solves the problems of security, reliability while providing a better efficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here I think this is the architecture of how the like the, the blue glacier and how how it how it is built and uh, the middle one is our NAS, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a it's an overview. It's an an uh, big picture. Mm -hmm. So with QTS in, in the center, that's our uh, enterprise NAS mm -hmm. TS eighteen eighty five U, and uh, with QTS Fire Station and QNAP Hybrid Archival Manager, we call it QHAMP, mm -hmm. and Data Archival Fire System uh, DAFS. The building blocks of Blue Glacier deliver an easy to use data storage and archiving workflow. So uh, on the left, mm -hmm. clients can access the NAS via industry standard protocols like SMB, NFS, FTP. Of course, also uh, the easy to use web inter uh, user interface. And as you can see, um, QNAP applications it's about the native applications and productivity tools enhance the matchability of, uh, of your files and, or your data. Also, we have APIs open to partners to build to enable a strong enterprise application ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think from the structure, the left hand side of the client should be like the computer or notebook or something. Yeah, like. yeah. And we drop the files into our NAS. And for the hot and warm data will be kept inside of the NAS for read and write purpose. Yeah. Then 
um, or any of the core data will be archived into the Blue Glacier because uh, the data go to the Blue Glacier the once right, uh, right once and yeah. uh, read many times, many, right? Yeah. So uh, by that you can like you can only write data into the uh, the, the the Blu-ray CD, but yeah. you cannot like revise or fix yeah. the data files. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So basically, we know that the Blue Glacier, the 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 disc, like the yeah the disc folder, uh, like archival folder or something. Yeah, can be a long term uh, storage solution. Yeah, it, it's right? a long term. Just just mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. it can store your data for mm -hmm. over than a hundred years. No, it's it's totally amazing, right? Okay. And and so the data protection is excellent. Yeah. yeah. So uh, later we will also check about why we choose the the CD uh, CD yeah. room instead of like hard disk or SSD and how the how the long term can be built by the Blue Glacier. But before that, we will just take a look at the QNAP Hybrid Archival Manager, which yeah. uh, I just discussed with them that that is uh, that is not a not the app that you can download in the app center. Once right. you have purchased the Blue Glacier solution mm -hmm. and you will get the application so that you can install inside of your NAS and yeah. you can use it. And uh, let's check on the sure. page. You have five tabs. The first, pad, uh, first tab is the overview. So uh, you can see by the virtualized, uh, uh, virtual, uh, visualized UI by like the, the, the chart or the percentage. And so that you can see that how many of the storage you have used and how many space you have left. Then for the several other tabs from the archival storage into the log are all for the purpose for the user to do the management or to do the other, like maybe check your magazine or something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here is another uh, UI, which is in the second tab, the archival, uh, sorry, the archival storage. So uh, what's the special part of this? Yeah, so basically, uh, you can utilize the optical module mm -hmm. and magazine management pages to run system operation, your, basically your daily operations and check the module and magazine status for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and later, Joe will uh, walk through the whole, you know, have a live demonstration okay. and, and walk through it and you can see uh, how it works. Sure. Yeah, it's more solid. Okay. Then uh, this is also one of the pages called archival folder. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I highlight this scheduler mm -hmm. because uh, for enterprise application, I think automation is very, very important. Yeah. You don't want your IT to to uh, to do the tedious. It's, so uh, a scheduler can largely save your time and effort on archival tasks. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, fully automated and then mm -hmm. you focus on, on productivity mm -hmm. instead of just mentioned tedious things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, uh, before the live demo, let's check on the like the different a uh, different level of the solution yes. that has been provided from Panasonic and QNS. So this is the product configuration. Yeah, yeah. So uh, here this table shows shows you the uh, product skills. Basically, uh, we have a starting set incorporates an and QNAP TS eighteen eighty five U enterprise NAS. It has uh, twelve three point five inch base and six two point five inch base mm -hmm. uh, for hard drive and and solid state drive, respectively. And uh, we also have one four four SAS HBA and one USB card. Uh, are included, and this is for optical disk library connectivity. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, ten gigabit Ethernet is is standard. Mm -hmm. You know the throughput, the SSD performance relies on, on uh, high speed gigabit uh, high speed Ethernet connectivity. So uh, it's standard for our enterprise NAS. And for the optical disk library, we have one button module. Basically, you can consider it as a uh, you know, robotic thing inside. And uh, two modules literally store uh, freeze ray magazines. Mm -hmm. 
And I think the magazines will be introduced later. Our special guest okay. Vic will will、uh, show you how the the magazine is composed.、Okay. And and、um, our starting set includes seventy six magazines, three point six terabyte each. And actually, it totally can keep one hundred and fifty two magazines.、Mm-hmm. User can expand their storage media. Say.、Um, Solid state drive or hard disk drive or or Blu-ray magazine anytime.、Mm-hmm. So, uh, for those heavy users, of course, we have options to expand this storage system. You you can purchase them in the very beginning for sure. That it, it's also okay. And and by adding by adding the JBAR for NAS, uh, up to eight JBAR.、Mm-hmm. And also,、uh, the optical storage you can、uh, be scaled by adding modules, and it's up to three modules. Okay. okay. And next page here is just a table showing you the numbers of capacity and rack unit and, and protection level support.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Um, and then we'll have a video here. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, while we are introducing the blue glass here, we just happen to have one set of the blue glass here、uh, in our second floor, the server room. So, uh, uh, yeah, we will show you and let's play the video and we can take a look at it. Okay, in this video, could you you can see blue glass is deployed in an enterprise server room setting, and now、uh, you see on the top is、uh, QNet. TS eighteen eight five U and oh this is uh yeah sorry optical optical module and with J bar okay yeah so basically it's a high and tall like a a, a machine or anything that can put a lot of things inside there so、uh, in the left hand side chart we can see that we have a TS one eight eighty five U at、yeah. the top. Which is the our NAS, and then you can choose the optional J bar, and then for the three green sections,、uh, sections you can、yeah. see that is an optional、uh, optical, optical disk, disk. module. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So basically, we just put everything together and connect that, and do the、yeah. like we tested everything and make sure it's fine, it's okay. Yeah, we... reintegrate it, and and、uh, if you really need the space to、mm-hmm. to have more、uh, hard disk drive or, or solid state drive, then、mm-hmm. Uh, of course, you can borrow the the rack unit from from optional optical disk module to put more J bar.、Mm-hmm. I mean, it it it's totally up to to custom to the need,、right. and we can tear any configuration for them. Okay,、yeah. then now it's the time for Joe to do the demonstration and tell us how can we use the blue glass here and how can we do the configuration on the apps. So、uh, let's go into the computer.、Uh, okay. Let's get started from QHan, and in the overview page, you can see the capacity of the、uh, magazine and the、uh, cache volume. And at the、uh, at the bottom line, you can see the numbers of、um, archival storage, archival folder, and the magazines. So let's grab、uh, more detailed information from the left panel. In the archival storage page, you can see there's only one、uh, connected. Archival for、uh, archival storage in the list.、Uh, if you want to add or scan the new DA, you can click these two buttons. And in the magazine page,、um, you can check the numbers of magazines in this DA unit and、um, check where these magazines located.、Uh, in the archival folder page, you can see the. Uh, two created archival folder named test one and test two, and you can create a new archival folder by clicking the create button. And the first page is the introduction. You can know what is the archival folder here. And in the magazine aside, you just enter a name. We call it demo, and we have the rate type as、uh, rate zero, five, or six. And next step, you have to assign a magazine to this archive folder, and just click the next button. And in、uh, in this page, we have to create a cache volume. 
I cache problem is actually located at the storage pool in our NAS. So if you want to um, uh, build this cache file on another storage pool, you have to create a new storage pool in the NAS first. And the default size of the cache file will be 144 gigabytes and the, the write cache percentage uh, default value will be 50%. And the, uh, these two values can be manually configured or depends on your application. In the archival rule, we have two categories, uh, threshold and uh, recurrence pattern. In a threshold, we have three options, time, uh, remaining cache space, and cache data. And we choose the recurrent pattern, and we can use the time interval as one hour as our schedule, and click the next button. And in the summary page, you can see the archival folder name and the, its rate type and which magazine you assign to this archive folder and the default and the cache volume size and the schedule to make sure all the configuration is uh, what, you, uh, what you want you just create uh, create this archive folder and it may take some time and, uh, but depending on how uh, the number of magazines that you use for this folder Okay, let's go back to our current PC. And this application is the QSync application that's been installed in our current PC. And you can download this application on, on, on QNet official website and install it. Open up this application, can you can type the NAS IP address and username and password to connect the NAS. And see there are two shared folders named test one share and test two share and these two uh, these two folders are um, point to the archival folder test one and test two respectively so we can pair the local folder it's just the uh, these folders are our client pc and click finish and it will connect to the nas and the do a synchronization so we go back to our nas and open up the file station. The test to share that uh, you should have the four files, uh, four files in this folder, but uh, you can see the local folder in our PC. We should have uh, five files in this folder. And we just uh, click the refresh button. And you can see the, the new file is uh, synchronizing. So let's go to the archival folder text2 and the text2 share is the share folder that points to the archival folder text2 so uh, as the new file is synchronized in the text2 share there will be at the same time it will be synchronized in the archival folder text2 and here we are introduced uh, the other application called QSearch and you can use QSearch to do the full text search so we just um, type a uh, full text on the search bar. Okay. So we can search the use the full search full text search to have the, the file that you want and uh, just click this link and it will direct you to the to the right folder. So this is the file that we just uh, searching for. Yeah, it happens to be our blue gas here for sure, and you can find it on the website. Okay. And what if you want to um, retrieve the data that you, uh, just in the uh, DA unit but not in the cache? Yeah. You can, uh, we just go to the test one archive folder. You can see all the files in these folders are archived but not cached. So what you have to do, just uh, select uh, select one file or multiple files and click the item here. You can see uh, retrieving from archival storage or you can directly right click the file and the retrieving it from the archival storage and click yes. And you can see the cache data is loading. It means um, the data is uh, retrieving from archival storage at this time. So that's it.
This is the de uh, live demo. Okay, so let's go back to the slides. And after the demo, so uh, CF is going to make a recap for us about uh, the benefit of using the, the, the Google Classroom. Yeah, okay. Um, here, let me just recap Joe's demo script a little bit. First, uh, on that, your file is generated in the very beginning, right? Mm -hmm. And QSync help you to sync important data to, to the NAS, from yes. NAS. And then to the NAS, we have file station mm -hmm. to do a file management. And uh, you can manage files on SSD, hard drive, or optical disk, uh, Joe has shown us the mm -hmm. part very well, no matter it's hot, warm, mm -hmm. cold, or archives. Then going to the next slide. Yeah. So after that, you uh, you might want to do that uh, with QHAM. You can match everything about your archival stuff mm -hmm. and the physical library management as well. Mm -hmm. Just mention uh, uh, daily operation and, and match your your uh, module and see what happened to the uh, magazine. Mm -hmm. And in the end. It's like an ocean of grass here. Data keep accumulating. So, um, how do you find it? But don't worry, we have Q search to help you out. Mm -hmm. And Joe also demoed that uh, you can search the PDF and find it uh, for sure. From yeah, any kind of files inside of the NAS or the progress here? Uh, the both of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah both of them. So, uh, okay, after the recap, let's take a look at the advantage and the benefit of using this solution from QNAP and Panasonic. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to provide you some progress here inside that mm -hmm. you know uh, its advantage and comp competitiveness. Okay. The first thing is uh, Brugers is designed to fulfill different rewrite patterns. Mm -hmm. The SSD for high speed uh, I apps and hard disk drive for general purpose of patients and um, optical disk for for storing core data or archiving long term data, your valuable data. And the built in 10 gigabit Ethernet interface provide high speed connectivity for heavy workloads. And again, it's standard of our enterprise NAS. And we can say it satisfies all your data storage needs in one stop. And um, yeah, we have uncompromised uh, data protection. According to data backup options, uh, United States Computer Emergency Readiness Team publication, mm -hmm. all computer users should back up their critical or the important data to protect against loss or corruption and to increase your chance of recovering loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just follow the three to one rule. But the three means uh, keep three copies of any important file. Mm -hmm. In this in this case, um, well, you have one copy on your laptop, just like Joe demo, then sync to NAS. Mm. Right, you have second copy, and then probably you, you can put one more to the blue grass here, mm -hmm. to the to the uh, blue ray to the okay. blue ray disk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so three copies. Yeah, we check, and then um, we keep the file on two different media types, and that's an important thing, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have hard disk drive, SSD, and also we have optical disk mm -hmm. and if you put your data on hard disk drive and tab uh, technically they are uh, they are magnetic yeah. they're, they're you know they're kind of the same media types. yeah kind of the same so um um so that's why we suggest blue gas here mm -hmm. and one store one copy of size and um well, with QNAP Hybrid Backup Sync, you can easily create another offsite copy or put it on a cloud. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, the three to one solution is kind of like you, you when you're having a blue glass here. Yeah. So that means you have a NAS 
by QNAP and you have a freeze ray by Panasonic, yeah. which can already like fit the three to one the like the rule because uh, we have hard disk, which is the magnetic media types, and we have the Blu-ray disk is sure. another one. Then we will have the first of the data file and another like uh, copied file inside of our NAS from your computer to the NAS. Then when it becomes a cold data, you will, we can also move the data into the blue glass here. So we can fit the three and the two, the rules. And then of course the hyper sync, you can use it to like uh, recover or to back up no matter you want to put your data file into another QNAP NAS or you have your own like public cloud you can also back up all the files up there so while uh, using a solution of blue glass here you basically have everything right yeah sure so the next thing is we also have the comprehensive API for the third-party applications so uh, basically um, since you are using the QNAP NAS and the QNAP NAS, we already provide our API to the like other developers. Yeah. So um, no matter for the EIP or the SAP system or yeah. any other demands from any of the enterprises, I think we can also provide them the uh, corresponding API for them for the like their to fulfill their business process uh, or yeah. uh, it, it's uh, third party mm -hmm. they want to join this enterprise ecosystem then uh, those APIs can, can uh, help them out and, and join this ecosystem. Yeah, sure. So the next thing we will take a look at our data archival file system. We just show you in pictures so that we think it's more uh, faster and yeah. clear for you to understand. Yeah, the Bluegrass is an advanced data archival file system mm -hmm. uh, called DAFS, allows uh, storage pools containing multiple physical mm -hmm. storage device to be created. Let's put it this way. You can create a, uh, archival and archival folder includes, uh, multiple optical magazines. Mm -hmm. So, um, it counts files into blocks and consequently distributes them to, uh, group physical devices. This, um, well, this eliminates the need to arrange files into storage device and also enhance the storage utilization. You don't need to, you know, have your manpower to cut your 8K resolution video into, into two pieces. Just, just try to fit them into the, the hard disk drive or, or mm -hmm. tab. Yeah. So that's the whole concept. And when large batches of files need to be archived or backup, the AFS can you know, save your 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 time from time consuming task. Okay. Then if by the picture you still you know like cannot get clear of it, we also have the storage compar uh, comparison yeah. of all the different kinds of storage media. Yeah, yeah. So we have some common storage media. We have hard disk drive. Mm -hmm. with the UNI storage, we have tab, we have optical disk. They all they all have their pros and cons for sure. And Bluegrass your mm -hmm. uh, this solution includes uh solid state drive, hard drive and, and optical disk. So uh you can enjoy the benefit of, of combining them, integrating them mm -hmm. all together. So uh let me address some some topics a little bit. Um, I think for data security, the right one's characteristic of uh, optical disk uses physical change to, because we have laser to, mm -hmm. to physical change to record data and makes overwriting impossible. It's literally impossible. So um, it is structurally very secure mm -hmm. and for in comparison, the magnetic recorded media such as hard disk drive and, and tab can be repeatedly overwritten. So additional measure, for example, the software mm -hmm. are needed to ensure to ensure the data security of this kind of media, this kind of hard disk or, or tab. And for the um, long-term 
for the long-term storage for the uh, long archival life, great reliability. Usually hard disk drive have, um, on average, I say um, five, ten, five to 10 years life and maybe 10 to 30 years of tech, but you need a very good environment uh, storage condition for the tech that everybody knows is that you need to control the humidity, you need mm -hmm. to control the temperature. Uh, but for Panasonic's archive, archival disk and optical disk for professional use, uh, it has an estimated lifespan over a hundred years. Well, a hundred years, it, it, it's quite long. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, within 30 degrees C, and 70% and, uh, humidity. It, it's quite easy, right? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, even in Taiwan, it's like yeah. your yeah, room just, temperature and you don't need- Just put it right there. Yeah, yeah, just put it right there and enjoy it. It can last a hundred years. And in brief, uh, Blue Garcia has integrated SSD, hard disk and optical storage. So it brings all the goodness mm -hmm from those media and of course provide the best storage to, to our client. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, that should, uh, that, that is all the, like the information and brought from CF and Joe. So next we have our special guest, uh, guest Vic Tsai from Taiwan, uh, Panasonic Taiwan branch is a uh, sales manager. So, uh, we will get into, uh, we will take a little rest. Here comes the brand new QNAP Life website, life.qnap.com. Product introduction explained by its product manager. Three minute highlights straight to the point. Mass unboxing. For beginners, quick tutorial with Joyce is an easy learning program. Detailed step-by-step -step tutorials hosted by Sen. In the past, these videos are scattered in different platforms such as Facebook, fan page, and YouTube. Thus, it's hard to search for a video. Now, we proudly present you with a brand new QNAP Live website, which you can easily search for a video with search engine and tags. Also, our website combines videos and presentation slides on the same page so you can now fast forward or rewind the video to a certain point of interest by clicking on these slides. Lastly, you can instantly create a video share link of a specific point of time. Live.qnap.com Okay, now we're back. Uh, Vic now is sitting next to me, so uh, welcome Vic. And uh, I believe that you have prepared uh, like very enough information to show us today. So let's go back to the slides. And uh, well, the first thing is that I think Vic will show us the history about uh, how the storage become. Yeah, so uh, is this all from Panasonic? I don't think so, right? Mm, yes. that, is, that is the generation of different like storage mm -hmm. storage. Uh, storage type right? mm -hmm. from the infrared laser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, now, please allow me to introduce you guys about the Panasonic Grid Ray. Panasonic has always been a leader in the field of optical disk storage. We start back in the uh, 1980s uh, with CD ROMs all the way to the Blu rays in the beginning of the uh, uh, 21st century. It has been 14 years since the invention of the first CD ROM. During this period, Panasonic not only has networks to improve our technologies, and here we also focus on the innovation to provide this with a higher capacity uh, just a couple of years ago. We have introduced the next generation industry grade archive disk. Mm -hmm. to take in the serial data quality in this area of information exposure. This provides the world with the safest and the longest storage media. And uh, before we get into the main business, let's make sure we are all in the same, same patch. Uh, okay. What is an uh, uh, optical disk? 
optic disc is uh, this with the largest capacity and the longest lifetime of the disc. Due to its uh, expansion reliability, this high spec industrial product is a target on the road to commercial mm -hmm. uh, enterprise use. And uh, this kind of archival disc biggest feature is a uh, uh, wound. What, what is a wound? It means the, which means the write once and read many. It does not allow data to be once it written, perfect to saving high confidential and sensitive information. This kind of archive disc, uh, the burn onto using a blue Blu-ray laser, without help of other mechanical components. So this kind of process gives the large advantage over the uh, like the hard disk drive and the tape by being uh, more safer and uh, simpler. And now, let's get to the main business. Panasonic Breezeway main feature first is an ultra long lifetime. Panasonic archive disk have been sent to the TUV for the agent testing. Under the condition of the 30 degree and the humidity of 70%, it can last of the 100 years, according to the results. This kind of disk can be stored uh, under the human room temperature without the hum humidity monitor. Furthermore, they are also the waterproof and they can tolerate the electronic waves and the vibrations. This disk supports the backup system, including the red 0, 5, and 6, which is a suitable for disaster recovery and the backup system. Mm -hmm. As well as the remote backups, Panasonic Freeze Ray uh, will set to your company needs using the long lifetime and the reliability. They can go to the option of the data center, and we are also cooperating with uh, some uh, uh, highly data confidential uh, enterprise and the uh, and, uh, center to do the uh, long data archive. And uh, here we, we were discussing about the, as a previous slide, freeze rate is a long lifetime and the high reliability. So user will not need to do the data migration. Therefore, it will be cutting down your cost for data transfer and uh, avoid the, the risk of the data loss. Also, the freeze rate does not need to be in the operation around the clock, uh, unlike uh, server and the text. It only needed to turn on for the inputting the data and the single module's energy cost is just 30 watt per hour. So no need for the external thermal solution. Uh, while lowering the electronic power usage and making the very energy saving. It's an environmentally friendly green machine product. And to sum it up, freeze rate is a low cost and the low maintenance environment, uh, uh, environment for your needs. And going to this page, Panasonic currently developing the one terabyte archival disk. For the uh, single disk is uh, uh, one terabyte. We understand that not only by increasing your unit data and the capacity of the disk, we can uh, expensively help a customer lower your cost in the archiving data. As the uh, data capacity increase, our reliability is still very strong in the sort. And on this page, I will uh, talk more about the Panasonic archive disk roadmap. On this slide, let me introduce our core technology. Archival disk is a very special grade disk, and it's using the double side and the, and the three layers disk. It means the drive from the Blu-ray technology. The patent for this technology is a co-win by the Panasonic and the Sony. Currently, we are in the seven S, sorry, uh, three hundred gigabytes this generation. But uh, we are uh, we is patience in the future. Five hundred gigabytes will be launched in two thousand twenty in the night uh, at twenty time frame, and the one terabyte disk will be next generation. Maybe launched by two uh, two thousand twenty or, or later. As may have been introduced for now, Panasonic is focused on developing a hybrid disk, which better spec is what we our wish. Uh, after you sharing our archival disk technology, 
Now I want to show you a big series structure and the magazine design. Mm -hmm. This magazine is using our in-house integrated technology. We place a multiple disc in a single magazine. That does not contain the other mechanical components as you can see. Via our unique disc design, this disc not only one catch uh, contact each other, they can be the uh, accumulated retired before reading data within by combining with the artistic technology. We can ensure that one magazine, including the uh, uh, 12, uh, 12, 300 gigabyte disk. Okay, so uh, basically the small magazine contains like 12 of the disk, right? Yes. So, like, not, no disk, sorry, the CD. Uh, the Blu -ray uh, archive disk, yes. Oh, yeah. Content, yes. Yeah, and for the next generation, we can have uh, 6 terabyte or, mm. or 12 terabyte Terab magazine. Terabyte. It's quite amazing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, please. And uh, uh, last but not least, this breezy red takes on the rig type of design with the major design for each layer, as you can see. It's considered three layers from the button to top. And uh, let me introduce the one layer, each layer one by one. The layer one, we call the uh, carry unit. And the layer two, we call the basque unit. And the layer three is a expansion unit. Each layer in the basque and the expansion unit have three disk drives. And uh, six disk drives make up one disk system. Mm -hmm. Now, please allow me to exp uh, explanation each other. Uh, the carrier unit, this unit uh, equal with the mechanical arm, uh, low voltage, and they're used for opting the transporting the magazine to the undergo data retiring and the burning process. And uh, the desk unit, this is uh, this system's heart mm -hmm. and the brain. It's used for allowing the uh, record unit to communication and uh, it's, uh, it's also sent out the operation command to the system. Uh, this unit is also come with a one disk module, considered three disk drives, drives. And the final is a expansion unit, which serves on the module system to uh, emphasize our expansion function. There are two types of expansion units is for option. One is including disk drive module to increase the data uh, transfer rate. The other one is does not include in the disk module. It's which means uh, just a simple magazine storage for storage purpose. And the data transfer expression unit can be hold up to three disk system, each containing two layers of disk drive modules. Uh, okay, let me make sure everyone is on the same page. Let me explain again. Three drives make up one module. Two layers of a module make up one a disk system. And the one disk system loading and the burning speed is around the three, 360 megabytes per second. And the three disk system speed is a maximum uh, data transfer rate is uh, uh, 1018 megabytes per second. Uh, to meet in order to meet the customer request, we turn this product into a different module for the best solution. And uh, I think the, here the slide is uh, a little complicated for the audience. So mm -hmm. I hope I, we have a yeah. we have a demo. Yeah, we have a video, video to show yes. you so that you will understand how the blue glass here works and inside of the the you know, like the, the cover. So yes. let's play the video. Uh, this is uh, uh, our breezy race inside working process. As you can see, the magazine carrier, they carry the magazine mm -hmm. in the back in the back end of the system for the disk module, and uh, then uh, this module insert the disk to bring and uh, reading the data. And uh, this magazine's design, as we previous we we mentioned, is a support rate function. Mm -hmm. So our rate function we divide the two group. Layer total 12 disks in the magazine, and we divide two groups. 
make up the rate. Six disk be the one group. So it means the 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 our disk module one time is reading the six disks. And uh, now you see the folks, uh, this video sees uh, our minimal configuration. Mm -hmm. See, because we can ask, uh, we accept the customer be the, uh, to expansion. So now we just show you the minima and the customer can, can expand to the sixth layer. It's a maxima configuration. Sorry, is this supposed to be that slow or that is a slow motion video? Uh, uh, yeah, because uh, just hope everybody can be known clearly. So we, we do the slow motion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you for your uh, slow motion video so that we can see very clear about how it works inside mm -hmm. of the full glass here. Mm -hmm. And that will be all the information that you bring to our viewers today? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's go back to the live. And thank you Vic for all the information and the future product arrangement. Yeah. And uh, thank you CF so, uh, uh, for all the information that how the Bluegrass here can work with our KNF NAS. And of course, we thank for the demonstration from Joe. And if you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and we will keep bringing you more and more videos about the new hardware and software and the, some uh, special like special solution that we like, like the Panasonic and the KNF co works together like the video today and uh, we hope you like our video if you have more uh, interest about the bluegrass here you can like you can go to any of your Q of your QNAP DST or the Panasonic DST inside of your country and you'll get more information about them okay. yeah so thank you for your watching we will see you next time on QNAP thank, thank you bye bye, bye. bye.